Hello, Lynn Allen here. I recently came across this amazing tool called the Microsoft Office Importer for AutoCAD by Axiom. And if you've ever tried to import an Excel spreadsheet or a Word doc into AutoCAD thinking you were gonna get perfect formatting and it didn't quite go like that, then you're going to love this tool. Or if you thought that you could modify the Excel spreadsheet, I don't know, maybe move some rows around or change the values and then go back into AutoCAD and simply update the spreadsheet and it didn't go like that, then you are definitely going to love this tool. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here we are inside of the Excel spreadsheet that we want to bring into AutoCAD. Now I would like to point out that this is not a small spreadsheet. This is a pretty lengthy involved file. Take a look at it and there's the end. All right, it's up to you to decide how much or how little you want to bring into AutoCAD. You simply highlight the cells that you're interested in and then copy that to the clipboard. Now I am going to be ambitious. I'm gonna highlight all of the cells and then copy those to the clipboard and now I'm ready to take it into AutoCAD. Here we are inside of AutoCAD 2020. Not to worry because the Microsoft Office importer for AutoCAD works inside of many different releases of AutoCAD. It even works inside of Civil 3D. Now once you install this amazing tool, you're going to get an additional tab on the ribbon called Axiom. In fact, you even get a toolbar for those of you who prefer to work with toolbars. I'm gonna go ahead and select Paste Clipboard because it's gonna take a few seconds to bring in that very large Excel spreadsheet. But if you take a look at the tools on the Axiom tab on the ribbon, you'll see it's not very complicated. It's very simple and yet oh so powerful. All right, it looks like it's just about finished. Now before I select where I want my spreadsheet to go, let's take a look at this dialog box. All right, we're not gonna look at everything in the dialog box, just the most important parts. First off, I think that we should split this into columns, right? That was a very long involved spreadsheet, so I have that selected. And I think it's also important to repeat those headers across the top, so I have that selected. And I love this option right here. Update automatically when the join file opens so that if somebody makes a modification to your spreadsheet, maybe you, maybe somebody else, the next time you open up this AutoCAD join file, it will automatically update. Ah, oh, I love that. What a powerful feature. All right, now we're ready to place it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in, uh, anchor it up here in the upper left-hand corner, and you have control over exactly how many columns you want, as you can see here. I'm gonna do about two and a half columns. Go ahead and just place this right about so. Now I am just kind of eyeballing it, but you could, of course, tell it the exact distance that you wanted it to have between those columns. All right, let's zoom in. Let's see what happened. Did it bring it in with perfect formatting? Of course it did, absolutely. It looks beautiful. All right, what else would you like for this amazing tool to do? I bet you'd like to be able to go out to the Excel spreadsheet or the Word doc make some modifications and then come back here into AutoCAD and have it update. Am I right? Well, that is very easy to do. I'm going to go out to the Excel spreadsheet and I'm gonna go ahead and close it. You don't have to do that, but I just want to prove to you that you don't have to have it open in order for the magic to happen. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and select Edit Source. All right, was that fast enough for you? I think that was pretty darn fast. Now let's make some modifications to our spreadsheet. Let's make some minor changes and some major changes. Let's go ahead and change uh, the color of this guy here. We'll change the color of this guy here. Maybe we'll even change what it says. Let's change it to say Axiom because that's the name of the company that makes this amazing tool. I know that some of us have to work with filled cells, so let's fill a couple of cells while we're at it. And, you know, I really wish that these were in numeric order, right, sequential. So let's, let's go ahead and pull this down. And let's do exactly that. Let's have them go 303, 304, 305, et cetera. I won't do them all. I will spare you. I think you get the general idea. So now that's nice. That looks good. Some of us have to move uh, cells around. We need to move rows around. We need to move columns around. So I just wanted to show you that you can make some major changes to spreadsheets as well. I'm going to go ahead and take 306 and 307. And I'm gonna copy those to the clipboard and then we're gonna go ahead and we'll just move them right down here and paste them so that I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven. All right, don't let me teach your kids how to count. 
And now I have made some pretty big changes to my spreadsheet and now I am ready to save the file. Let's save the file and go back into AutoCAD and update it right back into our file. All right, how am I gonna update it? There's a couple of different ways to do that. You can select list of links or manage link and in both of those places you will find the update option. Now, just like before, it's gonna take a few seconds. It's gotta go out to that spreadsheet and then it's gonna bring it back in. Once again, it was a pretty big file. It's got the hamsters going in the background. It looks like it's just about finished and voila let me go ahead and move this guy out of the way and look at that it looks beautiful let's see what happened it got all of the colors it filled in the cells how about the numbers three four five six seven eight nine six seven that's bad and yet it's oh so good it made all those changes it has perfect formatting now we already talked about the first three tools on the axiom tab in the ribbon but i'd like to point out the settings tool because there's a lot of powerful options in here. You wanna make sure that you have the Microsoft Office importer for AutoCAD set up to work the way you want to work so that it follows your standards. For example, what about text? You wanna make sure your text is displayed properly. I particularly like the size option because there's an amazing calculator in here where you can tell it the point size in Excel or Word and then tell it the desired text height in your drawing and guess what it does the calculation for you i know amazing why does an autocad have that i absolutely love that you have complete control of course over the way you want the borders to be displayed you'll also see in here an option do you want to import the filled cells like we did that's up to you pasting options linking options i do think this is important you have a choice between setting it to relative or absolute just like xrefs you know, things go badly when you have them set to absolute. I recommend you leave it to relative in case people start moving files around. A lot of great options in here that you're going to want to take a look at. And then when you get them set the way you want them to be set, you can actually click on file and you can save those settings. Or if things go terribly badly, you can, you can restore the factory defaults. Plenty of options in here. Now, what else do I need to tell you about? I need to tell you that if you send the file to somebody, you don't have to send the Excel spreadsheet to them. Oh no, it's completely self-contained. What you see is what you get, so you don't need to worry about that. No worries at all there. That's how brilliant this tool is. All right, did I convince you? Oh yeah, I know you want it. But don't take my word for it, you can try it for yourself. Download the free trial, you can use it for 30 days. Simply go to axiomint.com, no credit card required. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to call the number that you see on the screen. They are super nice there. I absolutely believe that you're going to love the Microsoft Office Importer for AutoCAD.